You guys want to see what I'm seeing? Just gonna ask for your pen right there. Okay. Ooh, I got my pass, y'all. Guess when you ready? You wanna get out of this car? We've been driving in the car for two hours. I know, I get you. I get you. We are at the Grand Canyon, the South Rim to be exact. Let me put on my mask because at this time it is required. <laughs> you want to get out, huh? I'm so sorry, baby. But you should get used to this lifestyle already. I know, baby. I know. I know. You want to get out. I know. I know. You're going to love it here, though. It's all worth it. I promise. Oh, my baby. I wasn't planning on paying for lodging, but I thought about it. I was like, okay, so if I take two hours to get here, spend a whole day hiking, walking, and exploring, and then just to drive two hours back, I'm gonna be tired, I'm gonna be sleepy, and sometimes it just ain't worth the risk. You don't wanna fall asleep on these roads, so I paid for a hotel room. It was pricey, but it's just one night, so it's not too bad. And this is the only hotel in the Grand Canyon Village that allows dogs. So because of you, Gizmo, I had to pay a little extra, but it's alright though. This hotel is called Yavapai or Yavapay Lodging. Just a quick little tour guys, that's our window. You can see some trees. <laughs> uh, we did get a two queen size bedroom, television, you know, same old, same old. What I do love is this Keurig coffee maker. I will be making my coffee tomorrow morning, you're not a saint. Got a little mirror, you're not a saint. <laughs> and then over here is the bathroom mirror and everything, got all the essentials that we need, got a safe that I will not be using, comforter, all the good shit, let's cover that, let's, look, let's make this look a little fancy, you know what I'm saying, got the bathroom, and yeah, all the essentials we need, it's basic, nothing too special about the room, but it will do its job, and I will have a good night's rest tonight. I just brought a backpack just for one night two days you know that's all you need and you of course I can't leave without you my boy it's only $35 entry fee per car you don't have to stay in lodging inside the park you can actually find hotel outside of the park Gizmo you want to go explore I take that as a yes today we're gonna do the South Rim trail it's actually on the outside, it's an easy trail, it's pavement. And we're gonna start with the Mather Point Overlook. Oh my God, you, <laughs> the view is already crazy. All for the picture. <laughs> All for the motherfucking picture. Y'all are crazy. Fuck that. This right here is the Geology Museum. I won't be going in there, but if you come, go on, guys. But we're gonna keep going.
it's getting colder out here it's gotta be like 40s this fire right here oh child yes it feels good life is great life is amazing i'm blessed i'm grateful i'm forever appreciative of anyone who supports me on my journey i finally got the the pit all to myself right now <laughs> all to myself so i'm taking full advantage right now because i don't, I don't know who else is going to come out here this place closes at nine o'clock it is only 6 45 so i'm guessing randoms are going to come out here i'm not gonna lie to you though gizmo is really getting on my nerves today i don't know what is up with him but he's usually really good but today he has no patience for it he has no patience for it he's just ready to go to wherever he wants to go i don't know what's up with you what is your problem today huh what is your problem today huh i don't know guys i don't know what's up with him i mean he he needs a haircut that's for damn sure my best friend we're not allowed indoors gizmo that's why we're out here <laughs> as a solo traveler of course i'm gonna be doing things on my own i don't have people around me um that i know personally friendships family while i'm out there experiencing a whole bunch of stuff i'm doing it by myself and for me this is how it looks like to me i'm not having a good time got the fire pit going i got my little beer mm -hmm. got my dog i don't know what the fuck he's doing like i'm having a good old time but this is how society looks at it My whole point is this guys just because you see someone by themselves does not mean they're lonely <laughs> that's the whole misconception about this is you need some alone time you get what I'm saying and it's healthy to do so but there's also people like me who are introverts and are loners to begin with and they're perfectly fine and comfortable being by themselves I'm not going to just stop having memories and experiences just because other people are not able to go out with me due to finances due to um, having children and, and finding babysitters and not being able to take off of work I am not gonna stop my life <laughs> I'm sorry people don't do things because they don't want to do things alone I'm a solo traveler though so I ain't got no choice either way before I was a solo traveler I did things by myself to begin with so I'm I'm comfortable with it so what society sees from the outside looking in isn't really what's happening I'm actually enjoying myself and I'm having a good time so cheers to those who have been following me from the very beginning and are watching my vlogs which my vlogs had more views but I still appreciate every single one of y'all cheers you want to play I don't want to I don't want to play I don't want to play okay you want to play <laughs>
right guys, we're gonna end the night tonight and we will see you tomorrow. <sighs> I slept good last night. So did Gizmo, he's still, he's still a little tired. I already showered this morning and I'm ready with my coffee. Laying back on the bed, watching a little bit of TV. Um, check out is at 11 and you know, I can leave right now and start my day. But listen, when you pay for a night at a hotel and it's expensive, I'm not ready to leave until it's time to check out, okay? I'm gonna spend every hour in here. And I think I forgot to mention that when you get a ticket into the Grand Canyon, it's good for seven days. But I will say from my experience here at the Yavapai Lodge, Wi-Fi sucks. It's really bad. I say keep all of your electronics back at home. The Wi-Fi is only good, surprisingly, outside of the hotel room. That's how I like to wind down before going to sleep, is watching a few videos here and there. Wasn't able to. Trying to get on social media to post my pictures. It, it took hours. And it's not just the Wi-Fi. The cable on the TV be breaking up. I'm watching a detective show, and I didn't get to see what the hell happened at the end because the motherfucker stopped working. I don't know how it is at the other lodging, but this is my experience here at the Yavapai Lodge. Oh, and another thing. Things close early here. Uh, most places close at 8. The general store closes at 8 o'clock. So before you go to your hotel room, make sure y'all get some snacks. Because it was 9 o'clock and I was hungry. And no ma'am, couldn't go nowhere. Their pop vending machine is broken. Oh, the, all the restaurants were closed. There's no delivery service. So that kind of sucked. I went to bed hungry. So it's all about preparing yourself, guys. I'm just giving you a few tips from what I've learned. Oh, another thing. I'm making coffee right now. But check this out. I ain't got no more creamer. I only have these little sugar packets, which will do. I asked and called to see if I can have some sugar and creamer sent to my room. You know what the bitch says? Oh, of course, I'll let the porter know and make sure that they send it to you. It'll take about half an hour. Half an hour, bitch! I need this coffee now! And I sip slowly. I like to take my time with my coffee. My coffee that I just made is gonna go cold by the time they get here. <sighs> Hotels like the Days Inn, Red Roof Inn, even Motel motherfucking six treat me better. Let me start my day right though. Let me start my day right. I've never seen this shit before. Look this. Check this out, guys. Pepsi and a Pepsi Cola. Interesting. Chorizo breakfast bowl. Ooh, that sounds good. Gizmo's in the car right now waiting for me. He's not allowed in here, so I came and got my little breakfast meal. Don't worry guys, it's cool out here. It's probably 60 degrees maybe, if I'm not mistaken. So Gizmo's fine in the car. He's only there for like a good 10 minutes, y'all. Don't worry. Mm, potato, uh, egg, chorizo, peppers. It looks really good, actually. Let's give this a little shot. Okay. Okay. I gotta give it to him. It's really good, actually. Let me try the potatoes. Mmm. The potatoes are a little dry. Needs more salt, but the chorizo is fucking good. The Grand Canyon has a lot of trails that you can go on to. Um, even takes you down to the Colorado River, but um, dogs are not allowed there because they are easy prey. The only trail that we can get on is obviously the, the rim trail, which we did yesterday. And today, we're gonna go on, come here baby, this way, come on, let's go, let's go. This guy, this guy. Today we're gonna go on the Greenway Trail. It's a pavement trail, bikes are allowed, dogs are allowed, and we're gonna see where it takes us. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I didn't really look deep into it, and usually I do. But this time we're just gonna explore. 
If I didn't have Gizmo, I would be renting a bike. There's a bike shop there that you can rent and I definitely would have loved to do that. But I do have my little buddy. There is a kennel here that you can drop off your dog. But I didn't bring his vaccination paperwork. <laughs> so, I mean, either way, I'm okay. I don't know where I want to go yet. Let's see. <laughs> I want to ride a bike. I'm deciding to go towards Market Plaza Village. Okay. I don't know what that means. This is a quiet ass trail. Ain't nobody out here. Like, literally. Ooh, this is a beautiful tree. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, child, look at all these acorns. Is that what y'all call these motherfuckers? I don't know, but they're everywhere. God damn. Shit. There he goes. Mark your spot. Every fucking tree. Gizmo, not that many dogs get to see this shit, okay? You lucky. You lucky. All right, we found a little uh, campsite here. Gizmo. We gotta tell him the plan, all right? Ah. We're gonna try to go back to uh, the rim trail that we went to yesterday because we did not finish it. We started we started the trail late. Mather Point is where we started yesterday. We walked it maybe up to here, I'm thinking. Because we didn't finish walking the trail, we're probably gonna drive here, park, and we're gonna walk it up to where we left off and then walk back. There is a shuttle bus that we can take to go back here, but pets are not allowed on the bus. So we're gonna have to walk it back. <laughs> so that's the plan, Gizmo. You ready for that? It just doesn't get old. We're seeing the same thing throughout the whole trail, but <laughs> listen. It just seems like it's different from each angle, which is probably why I'm sure they have different little sighting areas that we can look off of. It's just amazing though. It's breathtaking for sure. That area right there is the North Rim. We successfully walked the whole trail. Two different days, but that's okay. We did it. <laughs> well, it turns out that this village here that I'm currently at right now has better Wi-Fi. And I'm guessing that it costs a lot more to stay there. So I guess the more money you put in, the better the Wi-Fi will be. So it's all right. I'm still, I'm still looking at the same things they are. So this is the other lodging spot that you can um, actually stay at. It's a lot more fancier, as you can tell. Tovar is the name of this hotel. It's very beautiful. They, they decorated it very nicely, too. Look at that Christmas tree. So pretty. Very fancy. I will be going in there shortly. This is called the Happy House or Hopi House. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that shit. But it's the Native American Arts and Crafts uh, shop. But we're gonna wait till Gizmo gets a little bit of rest because we had a long walk today, huh, Vivi? We sure did. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend that you buy Native American items at big shops like these because I don't know exactly how much of a profit they're making out of a native's uh, creation. But 
it doesn't hurt to look i do suggest that you go to a tribe and actually buy it straight from them i think that's the best support you can give them Look at this price. The ceiling is so low. Look at these dorms, guys. <laughs> I must say, though, I do like how they built this. It does make you feel like you're in one of the natives' homes. So it gives you that type of feeling already. It makes you want to purchase something. I ain't gonna lie to you, I do want to buy some. <laughs> Dream catchers, of course. Ooh, what's up there? Okay. Upstairs entrance only. Okay, let's get up here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> let's get up here real quick. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at that. There's Navajo rugs. There's some Navajo rugs over there. Sharing two sheep takes two hours. Cleaning the wool takes 10 hours. Carding the wool takes 50 hours. By the end of the motherfucking day, look how much, it, look how many hours it took for a native to do this. A floor rug, 393 hours. They sold it to the shop, and the shop, I'm pretty sure put more on top of it and because obviously they want to make a profit this shop makes money off of their hours and hours of work you see why i don't want to buy it here mm -mm. nope no ma'am i ain't supporting laziness no ma'am i'm only 5'4 and i feel like i'm about to hit the ceiling <laughs> all right that's it for us gizmo we spent a great time at the Grand Motherfucking Canyon. <laughs> and I hope y'all enjoyed watching this vlog. Me and Gizmo had a great adventure. Still more to come. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next vlog. Peace. Why y'all gotta show me your asses though? Why all that? Bye guys. Till next time. <laughs>